Hey, this is Randy Moss. I just wanted to uh, invite you to my uh, aquaponics uh, garden. It's a new garden in 2011 I uh, started. Um, real proud of it. Been working on it for, I guess, about a month now. And uh, got a lot of pretty neat things going on. Plants are doing good. Um, I'm going to go through it all and show you what all I've done. and. Uh, and done things a little different than what you saw in the past from other people's uh, uh, different aquaponics uh, gardens. Um, Try to um, put some pretty unique things in here. And um, so we're fixing to go through it all and um, give you a, a demonstration of what all I've done. Here we go inside my um, aquaponics garden. This is a greenhouse that's um, that I have uh, constructed. It's um, 10 foot by 44 foot long. Uh, plenty big enough to support um, a very large um, aquaponics garden. Um, here's some um, romaine lettuce which is doing quite well. Um, got some strawberries we just have uh, put in about two or three days ago already got blooms on them they doing great these beds um, are the um, flood and drain system with a uh, bell siphon that I have uh, made which I'll get into in another time discussing how to build one of those that that actually works uh, a lot of people have a lot of trouble with them uh, we've been having great success with the one that I have built and it's doing quite well and uh, these are um, the grow beds that I made they are constructed out of um, cattle feed troughs um, they work great um, they're around two feet um, wide about a foot deep which is great for a grow bed and uh, they right at seven and uh, half feet long and I've got regular uh, brown gravel in them which is a great media the pH is, gr is very good on it uh, had some volcanic rock uh, I do not recommend using that um, had lots of trouble with the pH with that um, I would say stay away from volcanic rock um, and just stick with the brown gravel it's cheap and it does a great job um, there's where I'm feeding my beds. Uh, I have a PVC um, cutoff where I can regulate the flow. Uh, the flow is very important uh, dealing with uh, grow beds for the bell siphon to work. Um, have a little bit too much water flow, the beds won't um, drain and fill properly. So I've got that to where I can regulate that. This bed right here um, doesn't look like it has anything in it but uh, it's sowed with lettuce. Um, I've got baby leaf lettuce which is uh, starting to uh, come up. You might can um, see one right there. They're starting to uh, peep their heads out. And, um, and I've got spinach in this and uh, also another uh, type of lettuce which is doing uh, going to do quite well here is my uh, fish tank um, I've got um, one of these um, it's like a it's a food grade container um, works very very well for this it um, this tank here is about uh, 250 gallons of water um, I've got a, a thousand gallon um, an hour pump inside which runs everything in here. Um, it's doing great. You can see the uh, the bell siphons um, already um, starting to uh, empty and uh, it's filling empty quite quite well. And um, water level is coming up on this bed. Um, It's already drained out, this bed right here. Um, and then again, you can see um, what I've done with these right here. I have basically took landscape timbers 
and two befores and made a frame for that because each one of these is going to weigh about a thousand pounds uh, with the gravel in them but these are holding up quite well I just put uh, some angle brackets uh, on the outside of it to give it some extra support and it's doing quite well um, and I also have a Dutch bucket system uh, these are my uh, pepper plants uh, just put these two in here today uh, that's your jalapeno peppers uh, there's a couple of banana peppers and then uh, you can see these right here a bit in there for um, right around a week and uh, and this here is just a, a green bell pepper and it's they're doing great and um, and then here's also um, my tomatoes I have um, I have uh, 14 tomatoes in here and I have the commercial grade um, um, string attachments up top they work fantastic I'm trying to get a little bit better picture of what they look like that's what they look like they come down and you use the clips to uh, hold the tomato on, um, they're doing. They're going to be fantastic for that. But um, there's what I have in the inside, um, where all of it drains. Um, it's a pretty uh, simple system. It's um, it's got a uh, just a pump in there, and it has a. Um, um, a valve in there which uh, comes on whenever um, just a, a swamp pump valve that comes on whenever it gets full and pumps it back into the fish tank and it's still there they use the same water same pump is fed in all 14 of these uh, tomato plants and also three grow beds and then six uh, pepper plants on this table right here and they're all fed off of the um, off of that 1,000 gallon an hour pump, and uh, does a great job. There is my uh, pH meter. I'm just now um, into the uh, cy fishly cycling of this bed. Um, the pH is running just a little bit high on it, but um, but it will uh, be coming down um, uh, very shortly. It's um, it's doing very nicely. I've put some uh, liquid seaweed extract in my tank, and also put some um, uh, bacteria, uh, liquid bacteria in there to get it started. Just done that today also. Uh, pH is running around 7.5, which is about normal for starting up a, a fish cycle because of the ammonia being added to the tank um, but other than that it's, it's working fine everything looking good um, I've also got a um, hydroponic that I'll be um, doing outside I've got about 30 more uh, plants 30 more Dutch buckets that I will be um, putting in hydroponic uh, outside so I'll have the aquaponics inside hydroponics outside have two fans at the back with a um, automatic uh, temperature control on them when it reaches 80 degrees they come on and start sucking the hot air out of here and it keeps it relatively uh, very nice and um, but that's the uh, that's the first uh, showing them a greenhouse I'm going to show other um, as it progresses and and uh, everything starts tightening up um, I'm also going to show how to build a bell siphon that actually works and get into the details of your Dutch bucket systems and uh, all of that because um, I do have the bugs out of my Dutch bucket system and it's working fantastic and uh, and just wanted to uh, um, get with uh, let everybody know how to do all this stuff where they get out where it'll be easy for you for next time and we will um, and I'll give you an update very soon